So if you want to make waterfalls like this in Roblox Studio, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in seconds with a simple plugin that you can get in the toolbox. And this plugin is called Waterfall Generator. So if I go ahead and open this up. So with this plugin, all you do is you click on two locations and it will instantly make a waterfall. That doesn't make any sense, but as you can see, it's really easy to use. And we do have a lot of different things we can change about the waterfall. So if I go ahead and undo this, if I remove this waterfall, we don't want that. Go back to the plugin. So first is upper width. And upper width just changes, you know, the width of the top of the waterfall. So if we turn it all the way up, it's gonna be really wide at the top and skinny at the bottom. We obviously don't want that. And then same for lower width, just changes the width of the bottom of the waterfall. And then speed, it changes the speed of the texture. So this is a beam on Roblox. So uh, right here, it's a texture and it just moves. So if we go ahead and remove this, and if we turn the speed all the way up, you'll see that it actually goes a lot faster. The waterfall goes a lot faster. And then transparency just changes the transparency of the waterfall. So now it's, if it's at one, we aren't gonna be able to see it at all. And if we go all the way down, it'll be almost completely solid, as you can see. And then if we do softness, all this does is it kind of just changes how blurry the image is. It can look a bit more realistic. And then finally we have style. So, okay, so right now we're on realistic. If I go ahead and make one that's cartoon, we can show them all next to each other. So cartoon is just like arrows and it has cubes as particles instead. Might want to use that in a low poly map, but personally I'd still use the realistic one. And then the final one is subtle. And subtle is just a more simple stream. It looks more like a stream. It's a lot more soft and same as the particles. The particles are also more soft. And then there's other which lets you put in your own image and mist texture. And of course you can always change it on the actual beam once you've made it. Now waterfalls are a really cool way to add some cool areas in your game, but it's just one part of making your maps look amazing. The best way to improve the look of your map and make it just look incredible is by improving your lighting. So make sure to check out the video that's on screen for a full guide on how to use lighting in studio because honestly like if you want your map to look as good as this which is like as you can see all the colors are really bright it looks very colorful the shadows look great if you want to have a full guide on that make sure to check out that video see you guys there